Alright, so, hello guys, today we're going to be ranking every map in app in, okay, Josh, explain the man the thing that we were, what we're going to be doing today. We are going to, we are going to be doing a tier ranking of Nova's, um, of Nova's thingy, the Nova's PD nope. maps. all the chapters in the tier, it's so, first, let's start off with the chat. After that, start it all. Well, oh, hold on. Anyway, chapter one was the one that started all. And so, we're gonna do chapter two. So, Josh, do you like chapter two? Eh? Chapter do you two. like chapter two, the construction side? Like, explain why. Uh, which rank should it get? Eh? Did... I think it should get balanced. Because. So, why is it balanced? Like, because it's what's not the really... problem with. The design. It's not really that detailed, but it, it but it it has um it has some interestingness to it, but not a lot. It's just and it's also really it's probably that, but it's not trash either. Also, I think it's a balance in terms of difficulty. It's because but the, well, it's only an eleven minute map, and it doesn't really take that long to beat. It, as long as you know what you're doing. Thing in the map. However, the problem comes in with the map of, with the openness. The problem is that a player can only reach each kill the player easy kill the a player's easily does not space. It doesn't like barely space. And the problem is the map is super open. And when it's a super open map, you can just run the gigantic in the square and people will never be able to get you. That's the problem with it. However, the problem is solved with the bot, and, uh, with the c patrolling bot, and the bot will patrol, and it can also place traps, which traps can get in the way. So overall, it's a good map. Anyway, Chapter 3. How should we rank Chapter 3, the airport? The airport. Yes. I think it's, um... Which it's one? Also going to balanced, I think. Are there gonna be some maps that so not all the maps are gonna be the balanced category, right? Not all maps. And some will be the exceptional, right? If they're really good. Eh? Yes. And I'm not sure if there's going to be any in the trash category though. Well there might be. It's remember, it's in terms of difficulty in design. So it's so explain why to be balanced in this chapter 3 map is balanced. Well, first of all, I'm gonna say this. It's, I think the map is a lot more, it's a bit more detailed than chapter 2. Like, it actually has a little bit more detail, and it kind of looks more like an airport. Side, it doesn't really look like a construction side, to like Josh explained. Mm -hmm. But the, also, the map is also really balanced too, which is right in front of just after. Or two, because actually the map is actually kind of cramped, and, and which gives its players the pity and opportunity to get players much easier. So overall, it's a good map. Anyway, chapter four. What should chapter four be? Personally, chapter four. I think chapter four should go in an amazing category. Yes. What about you, Josh? Because it, because it's very detailed. So explain why it's going in the amazing category. Well, it has very much detail and... Yeah, and it seemed to be like a more of a detailed map. Like, like and the it's... first two maps from the series were very detailed, and were basically a giant square. But also, this map, the map might be a giant square, but it can also be very cramped at times. Giving the player an advantage. Yes. Plus, it's only a nine minute, nine or eight minute map, so it's pretty short. And it also gives our character probably a bit of backstory. Yeah, because it gives a lot of story, so it's going up. Now, the hotel, the hotel map, the red and yellow one, this one's going <laughs> right up here. Yes, exceptional. Yeah, it's exceptional. Well, first of all, let me see this. Explain why it's going in an exceptional category. It's very detailed. Plus, 
Okay, it's window. The only problem with that that it's with it is just like any other map in a giant square and you can run around giant circle until you will never be However, this problem that I can actually solve the TSP guards, which if you go in front of them it'll alert them into your location they'll start chasing you and plus there's another bot after you that will be looking for you using chat. So it's a pretty balanced map. It's really good. Plus, this is the map that the introduced season is the, the final battle between Rash and the player. Anyway, chapter six. Where do you think this could, should go? Chapter six. I think. What should it be right then? Hmm. Chapter six. Okay. Maybe, um, not it's sure. going right up here. It's going right in front of Chapter 5. Honestly, this is, this is up here. First of all, explain why the map that is going up here. It has a lot of detail. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of the most detailed maps me and Josh have ever seen. It's like it's so detailed, or so much effort put into it. You can tell by the looks and everything. The, um, everything the about it is good. The only problem with it that I see is that it's mostly green and. Also, it's, it's green, another giant really square map, problem. but the, it's solved. That problem is solved with two bots. There's one bot that's really fast, but one's really slow. The thing is, when there's a the bot that's really slow, they don't. They're both coming at a different pace, and, you, and grandmother, the bot, the slow bot, can come from behind, and you won't see it coming. It's also a really good map because it also has two endings it's instead of one. It's the first map that has two endings in the series. However, they both result in the same ending. Anyway, let's go to chapter 7. What should chapter 7 be rated? Honestly? Mm, it should be rated as crummy. Because it's so explain not very why detailed, it's rated so as crummy. Small. It's not very detailed. It's so small that um, that it gets cramped and. But however, the reason why we're not putting trash is only because because it makes it fair to the piggy. Piggy. That's the only reason. If it was all gray in, if it wasn't for the uh, very detailed train design, it would be trash. Yes, it would be trash. It, it sucks. Like, the train is actually a really good detail. Very detailed. Anyway, where do you think chapter 8 should go? Chapter 8 is one right in front. Yes. Chapter 8, the thing why it's exceptional. Very detailed. Yeah. Um, th also, don't you, don't you, didn't you realize that it gives, that it basically gives you vibes of chapter 6? Like it kind of has the same design. Wait, what? Same design as what? Yeah, exceptional. Alright. But, right, so honestly, I think we should do, and stop making the description for why we're making it very short and we should make it longer. So, the reason why chat uh, their seven was the garbage is because, like, I'm gonna be, I mean, it's not. That what chapter seven is completely bad. Like it's still a good map, but it's still hard. Like it's not completely bad. It's just that the design is just a, it's a not very interesting. In a if it wasn't in a real game, it. It, nobody would really play because if you want a map to pique somebody's interest. In. And this one does not do a very good job of doing. Sure. These two maps, airport and inside, don't, don't have very much detail, but they are detailed enough to where people are actually going to want to play them, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, by the way, Chapter 8, by the way, it used to be the, the number one hardest map in the game. I mean, mainly because it's not a very big map, sure it's Odin, but it's not very big. <laughs> Plus, it has soldiers, with soldiers roam around randomly, in moving random directions, and there's a lot of them, so that solves the problem, it being open. Since if the piggy can't catch up to the players, the soldiers will do that job. 
four M. Yes, it was a good map. Chapter nine, the library. Hmm. Where should this go? The library. Well, I uh, never. I don't think I've ever seen the library. Just look at the image. So if you see these shelves, the the map is all purple with some shelves. Carrier. I'm gonna say it's going in balance. So, first of all, let me get something out of the way. It's kind of like Chapter 7, it faces the same problems um, that Chapter 7 does. It's not very detailed, but also what, what raises it up is that it actually looks like a library. It's a carrier, there's a bookshelf, even a mini lab. It's a good map, but it's not detailed enough to make it go in the make in the exceptional category. Hmm. Anyway, chapter ten. Where should chapter ten go? Chapter ten. Look at the image. It's a bit too small for me to take it off. So just zoom in on it. Just zoom in on it very closely. Hmm. It's. I think it should go in balanced. I think. No, actually, it's just gonna go in amazing. No, it's just gonna go in amazing. Okay, first of all. Oh, okay. Let me explain why amazing is an amazing animal. Like, don't get me wrong. The design is really good. The, the graphics look amazing on the map, but the problem is the map is just just like chapter eight. It explain why they, it's unfair for the piggy. Hmm. I see that it's a bit. It's a bit. Okay. I see it's a bit cramped in the photo. It's also a bit of an open map eh, too. It's actually a very open map. It makes it very hard for a piggy to catch players. And, but it's still good in design. And the only reason why it's going up here is because the design and the map have ended the 10 minute long cutscene at the end of the chapter. Because it gives actually a lot of more. Because, let me explain it. Actually, no, this is going right up here. Because, guess what? The war, the story in this chapter means the chapter. Amazing, it is explained into why Pony joined the TSP, like why he joined, into what happened, why Mr. Fidge is cheating. It gives a lot of backstory to him. It has the most it has the most story of any chapter. That's what's raising it up. Eh? Yeah, so basically you can tell it's got a good story. However, the map does does take over 20 minutes to beat, which is quite a win. Making it the, it's the second hardest map, and I'll explain why in a second. Anyway, chapter 11. You get to ring this all by yourself, Josh, so, yeah. Chapter 11. It's, um, it's, it should Lab go oratory. in, it should go in balanced, because. What, does it have, so, Josh, first, does it have a good design? Yes, it has it's a, a good, good design, design, but it's a bit and um, but it's it's a it's a small map and there's actually um and if I remember correctly, there's actually no piggy to avoid. You just have you, to. Oh, that's because they don't need the piggy spawn and and even if it, and it has the patrolling bot AI. But the problem is with that is that basically the map is so small to where the point that it would. Be way too easy for the bot to find you. Yes, that's that's how small the map is, so it's a little bit too overpowered for the piggy. But it's, it's kind of an open map, but it's actually kind of not an open map at the same time. But at least it's crammed it into a map, so it makes it easy for the piggy to get the players, which is good, but it's not good enough to go in. In basically the uh. Exceptional cat. So, Josh, do you like the map in terms of design? How much do you like it? How would you rate it? Hmm. 
It's okay. It's not. He said they think I didn't. It's not futuristic, as he told me. It's not too futuristic, but it it also looks like a real lab. Just not a futuristic one. I like futuristic things, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, before we go to chapter 12, before we go to chapter 12, so, I think, well, review, so, yeah. So, yeah, none of these maps have gone trash, and the only crummy one. This is the only crummy map, in so, but that's, it's clear. So, let's talk about a bony chapter. So, a bony, I put in adding a bony chapter, or right after chapter 11. In chapter 11, we're going to say a very big bony chapter, that was going to be for chapter 12, giving a bit of story on ponies. Only, which we already had some, we just needed more for information, but it ended up being cancelled. Basic, what's the word for it? Oh, the idea ended up being scrappy, which leads us up to the final chapter. That's as well. Honestly, Josh. This, this, this honestly, it's chapter 12, and it's the final this chapter, so it's obviously going in exceptional, it's well, by it far the best in, chapter. Well, it can belong in amazing because it's a little cramped. But it's a little cramped, but that's really it. it and it, 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 that, it, it's a really good design, probably one of the, do you think it's the best in design? Yes, especially with the pipes in the workshop, because, because, no, actually had the brilliant idea to use barrels to construct the pipes, which makes the pipes look even better than they would do if you would just use cylinders. That's how that's how good the design is. So yeah, that's chapter that's all the chapters. That's literally all the chapters in the entire game. So, first of all, before we go, before we go, so what do you think of the scene so far? Right, let me give my explanation, then Josh will give an explanation. So, firstly, I think, I think I did really good on the scene. The design is amazing for every map. It, well, not every map, but some of the designs, they look even better than the, the piggies maps. It's really good in the story, it gives a lot of detail. It's one of the, probably one of the better fan games. It, however, it did take me six months to complete it. At, it, least it's, at least none of it is trash yet. Well, anyway, so, what do you think of an, what would you say in an overview? That's an overview of the series, like every map in it, like the story, everything that I made it. Well, it is something that is to be continued. So why should it be continued? Because we know that we already found the cure. Like, what should happen? Why should it be continued? Because it is a good, it is a good series. That's all I have to say. It is yeah, good. So, that's the entire theory. It, it, overall, so many chapters. It, so, overall, the first half, if, if you don't know. So, Josh, can you explain the difference between the first half and the second half? Eh? The first half and the second half? What do you yeah. Mean? Mm -hmm. What did you ask for me to do with the first half and the second half? First half. In terms of difficulty. What's um, the first difference between the first half and the second half in terms of difficulty? Well, the first half is probably more difficult than the second half. 
No, actually, well, you are wrong. Second half is probably more difficult than the first half. I really don't know. Oh. But anyway, so yeah, this is actually the end of it. The series. So before, also before we go. So anyway, Piggy series started our turning. And so, let me explain how the series started. Don't we... Yeah. I thought that I wanted... Like, I really wanted to make a series. Which I made a fake, fake series with my Caroline. Mr. Caroline. Which... Which we consider to be chapters that continue after chapter of what we thought would happen. In, in, but after I... Our book two came out and I wanted to basically add some story after the end to make sure that the that book two wouldn't be the end entirely. It seems to be kind of adding on to the story. Like in book two you're supposed to find the cure, but that's not how I wanted to end it. So basically what happens is that the cure does not work. It basically makes the infected talk. And what and what do you decide to do after, Josh? Well, I really don't know what I decide to do after. So first of all, if I got this right, chapter one is the first chapter. After in the series, it explains a lot about everything. You need to... Everything you need starts off with the human pony getting a call from a safe place. Call at the safe place saying that basically somebody wants to, wants to meet up with you. It turns out to be Rash. And Rash basically, he, he wants revenge. I really After don't know what to do with it. Low. I really, really don't know what to do with it. It's just something I don't know. You'll have to figure that out. Then the story continues after that. Like you go after Arthur uh, Pony. Pony. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chapter 3, Ratchet gets mad. And chapter 4, or, or it reveals that he puts you in a cell. Pony gets unaffected. In chapter 5. Chapter 5, if you don't know, basically it would make sense. It would only make sense for you and Pony and you to go after. To want to go after Rash and like you need answers from him. Like why did he do it? Like why did he want revenge? Oh, wait. So we can make it to a uh, um. It ask you can ask why you're just trying to figure out find out why he's doing it. But he turns out to not be there, and Pony actually states that, that he knows the TSC on the back of his hand. He knows that he, it, he's probably not going to be there because he, he's not going to make it that easy for you. And he says that there's a warehouse that's near, near the safe place, and he might, near the hotel, and he might be there. And sure enough, he eats it, which leads up to the final battle. Also, chapter 6 is considered the semi-finale. The reason why is because it's the end of the first half, right? Yes. In chapter 12, it ends the series as a whole, right? Yes. Like, what happens after chapter 11 is that basically Penny George's young older sister is infected but can talk in part of the influence to being possessed. Yes. She goes after you. There are five endings in chapter 12, by the way. Five. Yes. It's, so, first we, we got the three non canon endings. So, you have to explain to, me, to them what non canon means. Mm -hmm. Wait. Are you asking me to to what are you asking again? 
Not Kane. Twinkly, he doesn't know. If you start at non caning basically, non caning means that it doesn't take place in the story. He, he, like, it's not a part of the story. Like, the horrible ending, the distorted ending, and the betrayal ending do not have in the, in the story. They do not actually be having. The United ending and the, the, the real ending are the only canon endings, meaning that they actually have in, depending on the choice that you make. If you decide to store only one memory, yeah, out of three, you get the United ending, and George comes to reunite with his sister. So, uh, the difference between the United ending and the real ending, and the United ending is Penny Lee who stays behind to fight off the infected and she dies. Well, in the real ending, can you guess what happens? In the real ending, I don't know what happens. What is the opposite of, of staying behind? You, you, you follow the... Yeah, she comes with you guys. It's, yeah, so... In chapter 7 through 12, it means your mission to go up north and, and find the cure, the real cure. Yes. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. And yeah. hit the like button. Me and Josh spent almost, almost half an hour on making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do we give my honest opinion? I'm glad that there was the only one map that was coming. Anyway, this is a nice way, basically, to celebrate the series ending. It's a very nice way to celebrate that this, that I've completed the series like it's all done. I spent six months on it, and I really enjoyed it. Anyway, bye.